the earth started shaking and things started to fall over from everywhere around us, we did not know what was happening. Then when I started watching the news, I saw that a lot of schools collapsed. And because of that, I wonder, why are schools collapsing? I mean, I'm sure there is some kind of person who does this work. And then it just came clear. I want to become the person that makes sure that none of this is going to happen again. This whole conference is about bringing together professionals, academics, younger and older students so they can converse around the topic of earthquake engineering. Joining ERI like, really inspired me to pursue grad school and honestly I wasn't sure if I was going to continue doing structural work in the future but it really cemented the fact that it's something I enjoy and uh, getting to see all the faculty and all the professionals out here really made me want to stick with it. It's been crazy just to, to see, it's more than just reading about these people and reading about discoveries, you're actually getting to, to learn from first-hand experiences and, and seeing those professionals do what they do. One of the things I like the most is attending the annual seismic design competition because there I see the future. I see all these kids being excited about designing to protect the communities for earthquakes. And I think that's pretty, pretty awesome. There's so much excitement around this competition, and through that, I was exposed to people like Ashraf, like the board of directors, and they really embrace the younger members, and they want to mentor you, and they want to help you grow in this environment. And I felt part of this family. And so I think when I come here, it's all about education. It's about engineering with your heart, that you need the technical rigor, but you have to remember that you're serving communities and society. This experience ends up being worth almost a whole quarter of school because of the amount of networking and the amount of like things that we learn from the competition. It's a really life-changing experience. It really got the wheels turning in my head that this is where I wanted to be and this is what I wanted to do. It's a career where you get to see what you're doing, you get to see the product of uh, your work, making buildings uh, safer, making the livelihood of whether it's uh, hospitals, important critical structures safe is a, is a part that I really uh, I like about structure engineering. Man, making, making something like this, but making, not making it to scale, making it a, an actual reality and making it a real building, like that's, that's something that dreams are made of. I, like being able to visit a building that you, say, you can say you're a part of is, is yeah, it's, it's a dream. It really allows me to connect with what I really believe in, which is protecting communities, and in particular, making sure that our children, your children, and everyone's are safe in case that there is an earthquake. When you're sitting out there alone, you and your thoughts, do you really seriously believe that your profession is actually a gift to humanity? Do you really believe that? Because I do. And the second thing is, it's important to get out there and talk about your beliefs. Because you see, when you talk about your beliefs, something magical happens. You attract people around you that believe what you believe. Believe that you are actually creating something that changes humanity, or serves humanity, or is a gift to humanity. As Steve Jobs would put it, something that puts a dent in the universe. And when you get out there and talk about your beliefs with passion, you convert people that don't even believe what you believe into believing what you believe. And at that point, you will get paid what you deserve to be paid, not because you're asking for it, because that is their belief. They believe that you deserve it. But it has to start from you. You've got to have a sense of belief that you get out there and talk and celebrate. 
Oh. We definitely know how to have a good time, and Ashraf definitely represents that with his light-up suits and the crazy parties that he throws. I think, yeah, he definitely makes structural engineers feel like they're rock stars, yeah. feel like they're someone important, and I think that's something that sometimes it, it gets lost in industry. We're kind of like behind the scenes, and he helps put on a show for us and show us how special we are. Exactly. Yeah. He puts a good face to structural engineering and show that like we're the ones doing a lot of the work behind making these buildings, and like people should know that we're like behind it. And a special thank you to all the students that have traveled from so far. You are the future of this profession, and I am counting on you to change it. So when I come here, I'm so filled with energy and like you go back to your work and you're like, okay, this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. You know, superheroes, people say they do not exist, but they do. And sometimes we as earthquake engineers, we're all superheroes. We have the right tools and those are our superpowers. And that's what we do. We protect communities. We make sure that they thrive and that they are able to bounce forward.